Hey guys, we're going to go over topic 3, biochemistry, regents review questions. Let's look at number 1. It says, one effect of uncontrolled diabetes is that the blood might develop an acidic pH. As a result, cells might not be able to regulate, remember that word regulate means control, their internal pH. Within these cells, this could cause a disruption in the function of a biological catalyst known as so here's another word that we should know, catalyst. You have to remember what catalyst is a synonym for. Um, catalyst is going to be a synonym for enzymes. Other things to remember about enzymes are enzymes are proteins. Also remember proteins are made up of amino acids. And finally, when we're talking about any protein, protein has a specific shape that is going to determine its function. Number two says, in order to enter cells and be useful to the body, starch must be. Now what you have to remember is starch is going to be a big molecule. Since it's a big molecule, that means that it has to be digested. So what you have to think is, what are the building blocks of starch? Remember I circle the S and that's supposed to be my hint, a reminder, that the building blocks of starch are going to be simple sugars. Looking at those answer choices, one says absorb through the skin. No, right? Starch is something you're going to eat. Think about a potato, for example. That's going to be something that's starchy. Number two says digested into simple sugars. That probably is correct. Uh, digested means broken down. Number three says broken down into fats and water. No, fats are not the building blocks of starch or converted into carbon dioxide and ATP. No, starch first is broken down to glucose, and then um, glucose through cellular respiration will be converted into carbon dioxide and ATP. So best answer choice there is going to be two. Next one says organic compounds are used as building blocks for. So we have to remember organic compounds that has both carbon and hydrogen in it. If we're looking through the list, number one says water, DNA, and starches. Water is going to be inorganic, so can't be that. Number two says proteins, DNA, and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is inorganic, can't be that. Number three says water, proteins, and oxygen. Water and oxygen are both inorganic. Last one says proteins, starches, and fats. And those are all examples of organic molecules. Next one has a big long paragraph. Remember, please read the whole thing. It probably gives you little hints to help. It says an enzyme was isolated from digestive juices taken from the small intestine. An experiment was set up to test the ability of the enzyme to break down protein. We want to see if this enzyme can break down protein. Two test tubes, A and B, were placed in a hot water bath at 37 degrees Celsius, or the human body temperature. Test tube A contained only the protein. Test tube B contained the protein and the enzyme. The chart shows that setup. After two hours, the contents of both test tubes were analyzed. Test tube A showed only the presence of protein. So here you have protein. After two hours, test tube B showed the presence of the end products of protein digestion, indicating an enzyme had been successful. Remember, the end products of protein digestion are saying what are the building blocks of a protein. The building blocks of a protein are going to be amino acids. Again, make sure you're marking up your paper so that you can better analyze the questions. It says state what the result would be if the same enzyme that was added to test tube A was added to test tube containing starch. So here. But what you have to remember is this enzyme is capable of breaking down a protein into an amino acid. Remember, enzymes are one specific type of protein. Enzymes can't just work on anything. They have a very, very specific shape which allows them to only do one function. So it would not work because enzymes have a specific shape which determines their function.
So it would not work. Again, that has to do with specific shape and also shape determines function. Identify the end products of protein digestion that made up the contents of test 2B after two hours. Well, we already answered that, right? That's saying what are the building blocks of protein? And the building blocks are going to be amino acids. And then that last question, a fully functioning enzyme molecule is arranged in a complex 3D shape. Remember again, enzyme is an example of a protein. The shape determines. This answer choice is going to be one specific type of molecule it interacts with during the reaction. Okay, flip over. We have our next question. It says the diagram below, X, represents a process that causes a protein to unfold. So if it has unfolded and stopped functioning, it has most likely changed, changed shape. When something changes shape, we say that that's going to denature it. Right? If it's changed shape, it can't do the job that it's supposed to do anymore. The correct answer choice for this is going to be four. An internal factor in the body such as temperature increased. Remember that could be temperature or pH. Many times they'll have a graph that looks similar to this. Remember the high point is going to be the optimum or the best temperature. Once you get past that optimum into this area, that is going to be when your enzyme is going to denature or change shape. And the Y, sorry, the X axis would either be the pH or the temperature. Sorry about that. Okay, pH or temperature. So once you get past that optimum, the enzyme starts to change shape. And if the enzyme or catalyst changes shape, it's no longer going to function how it's supposed to. Base your answers to questions 8 and 9 in the diagram below and on your knowledge of biology. The diagram represents a portion of a starch molecule. This is one of those times where if you read the top, it'll help you do the rest. So we have starch. Also remember here we have these rings. All these rings are linked together. Rings indicate a sugar molecule. The energy in this molecule is stored. This should be pretty straightforward. Remember, energy is going to be stored in the bonds in between the atoms. Number two says, what are the building blocks of this molecule? What are the building blocks of starch? The building blocks of starch, again, are going to be simple sugars. So that's going to be two. Remember, amino acids are going to be linked to proteins. Fats are actually a big molecule. And then molecular bases would be linked to DNA. Molecular bases include things like A, T, C, and G. And then that final question says, which statement explains the importance of maintaining a constant internal environment to ensure proper enzyme functioning? So internal environment includes things like temperature and then also things like pH. Remember, you don't want to change the temperature or pH because if you do, you could potentially change the shape of the enzyme. And if you change the shape of the enzyme, then you're going to change the function of it. Best answer choice there is going to be four. Increasing the temperature and pH can alter the specific shape of enzymes. After you've completed that, you should go through the self-reflection. Think, how many did I get right? How many did I get wrong? What questions actually did I get wrong? What's confusing me? What should I be studying? And then here, what are your goals? Were there any words you didn't know? Maybe you don't know catalyst or denature or starch. Write those down.